you if you are a Yamaha AV receiver owner, especially if you bought the uh, the uh, twenty twenty AV receiver lineup, any of them that came with the HDMI two point one, and you know you had the trouble that befell AV receivers that came out from last year, you will be very happy to know that Yamaha is requesting for anyone that wants their hdmi problems to send back their av receivers to them they will work on it upgrade the board the or the hdmi board in there and as well as fix anything and send it back to you so that the receivers can now allow 4k at 120 hertz signal transmission from xbox series x as well as nvidia rtx 30 gpu based devices now the 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 thing here is that if you have any of these yamaha receivers i'm going to mention their new rx v4a rx v6a rx a2a tsr 400 tsr 700 receivers you should go to Yamaha, register these devices to ensure that they receive direct communications on the on the product uh, on on uh, the the product they are working on. So you can like ship it out, they fix it, and they send it back to you. The HDMI board, the HDMI bug, uh, is not a problem unique to only Yamaha remember other manufacturers other av manufacturers had the same issues then on the marans recently like i announced that that was a few weeks few weeks ago i think about a month or so ago i announced that then on the marans have got the problems being fixed by what they did was that they released an external box and it's a totally small device that is uh going to work with your with your hdmi cable so you will plug your hdmi cable that's coming directly from your av receiver then plug your xbox series x into that same connector and it will be the small device would solve that that glitch that issue that uh, people have the blackouts and not being able to use their xbox series x honestly so um then on got the problem solved with the uh, with that little device although people will have to go out to buy that device because it has its own price i announced that about a month ago yama is keen to request that the update is only requested by people who actually intend on using these high frame rate streams for gaming uh through xbox through xbox and nvidia card so um if you're really not interested in all these things uh i don't think it's uh it's a big deal you don't need to send it back but if you are interested in gaming especially gaming in 4k 60 uh, hertz signals they're that compatible with um, all the hdr formats such as Dolby vision hdr 10 you gotta have to send your your AV receiver back just for them to upgrade and work on the board generally to help you support all these things without any glitch or issues going forward. But other than that, that's the news today. Uh, if you like this, do subscribe to our channel, like our content, follow our social media. I'm going to see you guys next time.